So you're looking for an audio interface for your gaming, your streaming, your podcasting, for YouTube content creation, or any kind of content creation that requires audio controls, then you clicked on the right video because I have yet another miniature budget audio interface. You're in the right place because the device I have for you today is the Monocaster C2 Neo. That's right, the C2 Neo. It's kind of a cool name as well, and it comes with all of the basic necessities that you need for getting your audio mixing going. That's right, you have not a lot of features, but you have just enough features. And when I say it's a competitor to the FiFine SC3, it is in a few ways. It has some things the FiFine SC3 does not have, and some things are lacking from it that the FiFine SC3 does have. So uh, you might want to jump back and forth between these two devices, but today, I'm quite excited for this because this has particular things that I would be interested in using. And we're gonna dive into that right now and we're gonna see if this is something for you out there and it has the things that you need out there, tech as a gamer. So let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. All right, tech as a gamers, here we are with the full unboxing of the Monocaster audio interface at 60 bucks that's right this is a direct contender with the new five fine little mini caster they have as well so uh yeah we're gonna see which of these two may suit your needs this one seems to be an even more low profile but also includes several functions that that five fine sc3 does not include so let's go ahead and pop this open this will be my first unboxing. I have not yet looked at the contents of the box, so let's see what we get. All right, off the front, you always get these promotional cards, and looks like there is a way to get some usage video content to show you how you use it, as well as their WhatsApp QR code there. And of course, if you wanna contact them, there's all of their information right there in your face and on the other side looks like it is a little uh warm-up tips and quick guide you're gonna get your awesome manual here so this looks like it is one complete large manual for setting up your caster here so it is instructions both front and back moving right along let's go ahead and take a quick look all right techies and gamers we have something exciting here it is a new audio interface caster for all my budget content creators out there in the universe. This looks quite cool. Let's take a quick look at it. It also looks like it comes with this little uh, clear protection shield to keep it nice and fresh and clean. And we have a number of buttons and functions. That's right, Tech Easy Gamers, get a nice whiff of what you got here. And on the back, you have some ports. So. Uh, let's just take a quick look at what we have on here a uh, volume. So I don't know if that is the actual mic volume. I'm assuming it is since we have a gain thing going on here. Aux that I presume is directly connected to your aux, which is what is coming into your caster here. And this looks like mic levels here on the side here. I don't know if that's actual monitoring and mic, but We'll get into all that. This is probably your main audio out, right? So you can control the full level you want to export from this device. And then we have the output levels. So I guess when you move this, you're probably going to see the levels on the side here to know where you're at. And then this is headphones. So this here may be for the monitoring audio on the on your headphones, right? So yeah, we don't know yet. I'm just assuming because I haven't done anything yet. That looks like your battery level. I believe this Monocaster at full charge does about six, seven hours on a full charge battery. So that's kind of cool. Bluetooth indicator along the bottom. We have a number of things, 48 volts switch on and off for your XLR microphone, Bluetooth, right? To turn your Bluetooth on and off, reverb preset, sidechain, direct monitors. I'm seeing also that with sidechain, there is the option to actually turn on to music only as well here. Take using gamers. Oh, uh, this does dual function button, dual function button, both for direct monitor and loopback, pitch presets, low and highs on your vocals, I guess. Uh, noise reducer. We have some noise reduction hardware built into this. Awesome. 
and three customizable sound pads. I believe each does about 20 seconds. All right, and over here looking at the top of the device, we have a number of things as well. We have a nice protector here to build the plastic power. We have charging. This is probably strictly for charging. USB, this is probably strictly for connecting to an external device, your computer, your MacBook, that sort of thing. Line out, that is probably going to go over to, say, an external device like your iPhone or a MacBook as well. And we have headphones. Obviously, you connect your headphones to there. And aux, this probably will be your incoming audio from an iPhone, iPad, Android device that sort of thing and of course your xlr connectivity for one mic so for all intents and purposes this looks like it is to support one microphone only and along the bottom is just some rubber stoppers to prevent your device from sliding full 100 percent plastic build we got going on here so and rubber buttons in the box what else we got we have well at least it comes with one uh trrs uh, audio jack here so effectively you have something to connect your iphone or your android device directly into the aux port on the caster and last but not least we have a usb-c cable that will be utilized for connecting to your pc so there is no additional usb-c cable to connect for power for powering via the port itself and that's the full content of the box you have a little bit of uh salt you can put on top of your rice if you like rice no don't use this it's poison End station, drop that. So let's go ahead and power on our device and see what it looks like in sound settings. For that, you're just going to hold the power button right here on your top right for three seconds and you're gonna see some nice cool LED flashing here. Look at that. Look at how cool that thing looks. Nice glossy <laughs> interface and build here. I like it, I like it. All right, the Bluetooth already by default, I see when you turn it on is on and it is flashing up here in my top right. So you can immediately connect to Bluetooth devices. We'll connect to that in a sec, but for now, let's switch over to our desktop. Let's see what this device comes in as. And looking here, it already comes pre-named Mona Caster C2 Neo. That's right. And it comes in as the output and let's see if it goes to the microphone. Yep. And it automatically set both output and microphone input to the device so that's exactly what we wanted to do so now that we know that we don't have to manually do that but i would suggest that you check that out anyway because you just never know switching back to the view that we need and we're connected and we have no microphone connected luckily today i will be testing this with the fifine k688 it has usb as well as xlr and it is the mic i'm using right now in usb mode so Let's go ahead and get this mic connected and get the starting tested. What? Say it backwards again. Get the starting tested. Now, it doesn't come with an XLR cable, but if you pre-order, you will get it free up until the beginning of September. And with that free XLR, you don't have to buy one. But if you have one at home, then eh, you don't have to pre-order. You can actually order it on the date it releases. Now, one thing I like when connecting my XLR to my device here, it has a nice little click to it. it goes in pretty smoothly and snaps into place. Check this out. Nice pop and it is in place as it needs to be. So yeah, okay, cool. Quality XLR port, I guess. I gotta connect my headset, one sec. Let's make the switch over here to OBS. We're gonna add an input device because we need the mixer to be talking to my PC to get audio back and forth for recording. Listening to the monitoring over this microphone right here, it sounds quite clean in my ears. So it's not clipping and everything is sounding pretty crispy because, well, the K688 
by Fine Mic is pretty good, pretty nice sounding microphone. So, all right, let's take a look. What do we have presented in our face techies game? This looks like a lot of fun. All right, so first things first, we have gain volume here up on the top left. If I drop it down. So right now I'm working off of 100% gain everywhere. And it's not bad, actually. I don't feel like I have to drop it down any. So maybe just a little bit, I'll drop the gain 95%-ish. So this is sounding pretty good. And the volume of the mic with this slider right here. And right next to it, you'll see the levels here. So I'm gonna keep my volume pretty high because I'm gonna control it via the gain. This middle big button is for your total output coming from your mixer from every device, your PC, your phone, if you've got music going through here, your microphone, of course, and you can control the levels here of how loud or how low. So there's a lot of ways to control audio. Aux, that's for audio incoming, connect to your aux jack on the back. So we don't have anything connected to that. We'll test that. Maybe we'll just test Bluetooth. On the right, you have your headphones volume, so I can drop that down. So I can mute my monitoring. I don't get confused with the way I'm talking because there is a millisecond of delay here. So I'll keep it pretty, I'll keep it down actually. We got our battery indicator right now we're charging. So on the back, you have a dedicated port for charging. It does not do data. And then the other is the data which connects to a laptop, to your PC, that sort of thing. And you have your Bluetooth indicator flashing. Right now I have it coming on. It's on by default when you power on your device. So was a reverb effect. I had to actually turn off the reverb because it was on by default. So I put it to normal mode, Bluetooth. So we're gonna actually hold the Bluetooth for a couple seconds and it's gonna turn off the Bluetooth broadcasting so it's not continually broadcasting. We'll turn it on when we're ready to actually connect to a Bluetooth device. We have 48 volts. So this looks like it does not need 48 volts to power up. Now to get to some of the fun stuff going on here. All right, so just before we get started, you wanna make sure that when you get your output going on here with your audio, with your vocals, you wanna kinda of make sure that they kinda of match the output because then your vocals might come in low. Right now, if you look at the gain going up on both, they are about matching the same, so it's pretty good for what we're trying to do here today, Techies and Gamers. All right, 48 volts, no need. Bluetooth, we'll get into that in a second. So first and foremost, reverb now i want to hear what this reverb sounds like so i'm going to bump up my mic uh monitoring volume up and we're going to get into some of these presets so the reverbs are presets there's no way to manually control it so there are about four or five levels of reverb so let's actually see how many there are so right now we are on normal press it once to begin cycling through reverb effects karaoke which is the first reverb effect now wow that's a Pretty heavy reverb. Now, when you press the reverb button, it's gonna announce which mode it's in. Kinda cool, so karaoke. That sounds like a ginormous hallway that I'm in, uh, or a cave. Here we go, next. Church, there is a church reverb because it told me it was church. So this reverb number two, which is a little bit less of a reverb than the karaoke. So let's go ahead and switch over to the next. Hall. We are in, ooh, this one is really big. All right, so that's three reverb effects. Hall, let's go to the fourth. Valley, we are now in, whoa, this is this, probably the max reverb you're gonna get. Ginormous echo, 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 echo. My God. All right, let's see if there's a fifth room. Okay, so there is a fifth reverb, and the room is a little echoey, less so than the karaoke. And we're back to original. Now, I notice when I'm switching between effects, 
there is a slight delay in picking up my audio when it's making the transition. So if I just keep talking, I just make the switch as I'm going, you notice what's happening to my voice. And then I switch to the next mode and there's like a dip out in my audio. And then I switch over to the next mode and it dips out and it comes back in a little bit. That's what I'm hearing in my monitoring. It is not making the announcements in my recording. So when I press the reverb button and it tells me, Hall, you don't hear it in the recording. It's only in your monitoring. Slick, my own one. Slick, I see you. We have some pitch presets. So let's cycle through those and see what we're getting with these pitches. What? What did I say? Pitch number one is female because it announced it in my headset. Female audio makes me sound like an elf, like most of the mixtures that I test. Because if you have a deep voice, it makes it sound like a dwarf. But if you have a higher pitch voice like this, then you kind of make yourself sound like a female. And I can go high pitch, 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 pitch. <laughs> Next preset. This is the male voice because what if I have a high pitch voice and does it make it sound like a male? <laughs> it definitely deepens the vocal tones of your voice. All right, next preset. Baby. This is the baby voice, so if I'm talking normally, it makes me sound very miniature and small. So this is with a deep voice, and this is with a high voice, a high pitch baby. What? I noticed that when you switch to the modes, it switches to a corresponding color. So each mode has a different color. So I don't know if you want to kind of memorize it or not, but I don't think so because it announces the mode when you press the button. So we have four pitch changes or kind of vocal special effects. Next up is noise reduction. So right now I do have some noise going on in my room. The whole time it has been on a low noise reduction. It comes in that way when you power on your device. So I don't know if it's going to maintain the settings I have here when I power it off and power back on. But out of box, a lot of these things are just turned on. All right. So just be mindful of that. Uh, reverb is turned on. Bluetooth is turned on. And apparently noise reduction was turned on as well at a low setting. So right now I'm listening and I can hear audio right now in my room. I can hear my PC fans. Keyboard test. Loud and clear on my keyboard yeah so that's loud right so pressing it is going to go into a low noise mode let's go ahead and press that noise cancellation low it tells you it announces to you in your ears you pick up a little bit of the keyboard noises but not so much but if i go up again noise cancellation is high nothing and if your noise cancellation is high and you sit back and you start talking from a distance your vocals are just going to disappear sporadically so yeah just be mindful of which noise cancellation you're going to choose uh, i even hear the my vocals dipping uh, in my monitoring so i'm going to keep it i'm going to keep it at a low setting here all right and last but not least we have some sound pads right for recording now each pad can record up to 20 seconds there are two things that these pads can do you can erase whatever audio you have on there completely and there'll be nothing or you can create a recording with your voice or with an external device like your ipad your iphone your ipad your pc to get music that sort of thing or special sound effects you want to get from somewhere else so when it is blank you can create a recording just by pressing it one time and you can create any kind of effect with sound or with your voice via the custom sound recording pads, the touch pads. And then you press it to stop it and you stop recording. Now let's see the quality of this audio. Tap it to play. So when it is blank, you can create a recording just by pressing it one time and you can create any kind of effect with sound or with your voice via the custom sound recording pads, the touch pads. And then you press it to stop. Okay, now what I'm going to say right now is that the recording quality, I guess the bit rate that it's recording at, is good. 
it sounds just as good as I hear myself when I'm talking over the monitoring. So that is quite fantastic. And to erase it, right, you just hold it for three seconds and it's going to flash rapidly. When it's flashing rapidly is when it's doing the erasing of the custom touchpad. So just know those two different modes. One is erasing and one is recording by tapping it. Now, to record something new on that button, right, you have to erase it first, right? And to erase it, you hold it for three seconds. It flashes rapidly. And once it's done, you know, it's erased. There's nothing on the button, right? And then you can do that with each of these buttons. Quite awesome, Techies and Gamers. I like it. Last but not least, we are going to go ahead and check out what this Bluetooth sounds like coming through here. And then we'll test a little bit of uh, the music only and some side chain just to see how that works typically. All right. So for Bluetooth, let's go ahead and press our Bluetooth button. Now, pressing it won't enable it. If you notice that, but holding it down for a couple and announces Bluetooth on and it is flashing. So let's go ahead and go over to my Mac. All right, let's go ahead and connect. Bluetooth connected. You get an announcement in your headphones that Bluetooth is connected. Awesome. And with Bluetooth connected, let's go ahead and play some audio out of the MacBook. Music by Penn's Station. Link in the description if you need some music. So looking here at my settings, it looks like the aux controls the volume coming from the external device. There we go. Bluetooth is in effect. Right now I have it maxed out, but I have it low on my MacBook. I can bump this up pretty high. I would just have it. I would just have it high on my Mac and just have it controlled right here on my mixer. Now with the music playing in the background, let's go ahead and do some side chaining. Play the music, turn on side chain by tapping it once, get the announcement and side chain is on. And you see that the music kind of dips as I am speaking. And when I stop talking, It comes in at a good interval. You don't have to wait five seconds. It comes in right after you stop speaking. And it detects your voice quite nicely when you begin talking and then you stop again. Very nice. Sidechain effect is awesome. So there is only one mode of sidechain. There isn't levels of sidechain that you can control. So by pressing it, it gives you a default sidechain, which I think is pretty good. You still hear the music in the background and it still supersedes your vocals over the music. I have sidechain going, music only going, and this song you're listening to has lyrics. This is a hip hop song and you can hear the beat, but you don't hear the words. Shh. But if I turn off uh, music only, let's see what happens. There goes vocals. Could I be the one you love? So because it sounds, my voice sounds like instruments, uh, you can kind of hear that. But when someone's talking over the beat, rapping, you can't hear the lyrics. His voice. Music only cuts them off. <laughs> if anything, this is credit to Wu Tang Clan, Nas, and Davies. So. Yeah, let's make sure they get there. Uh, uh, I think Ghostface is on here too, and Raekwon. So yeah, uh, just in case I get a strike on this video. What? All right, take this game. So what do I think of the Mona Caster C2 Neo overall? For 60 bucks, 59.99 on Amazon right now. Well, not right now. In September, coming up, right? Be aware of the uh, release date. Awesome sauce. This thing rocks. This has quite a lot of features that the SE3, for example, does not have that it is lacking. And let's go over what some of those features are. One, you get your Bluetooth built into a $60 device. Yes, $59.99. You have Bluetooth, you have your side chain, your music only, which I wish the SE3 had on the FiFine device. 
you have a noise reduction button two levels low and high so awesome that it includes noise reduction hardware built into this device the seven hours of playback on a fully charged battery so you're getting some good battery life going on this thing i like that you can control your mic two different ways via the gain as well as via volume of the microphone the buttons themselves are in fact very sturdy the sliders have a nice resistance to it so you can get the precise level you want same thing with the knobs all of them have a nice little resistance super light and smooth gradation it does have a limit so once i get to the max it stops lets me know i'm at the max versus some buttons on some of these mixers you gotta keep spinning it and it keeps spinning eternally in order to get to the max which i find kind of weird same goes with aux button same goes with gain they both stop at the end i like that it has led indicators letting you know where your mic levels are and if it's in fact balanced on the master output and your mic output here i like that you can control your bluetooth audio with the aux knob volume controller here so it controls both your aux and your bluetooth so just be mindful that if you have both connected you're gonna be controlling both audio levels there you have your headphone monitor independent control here now when you lower the monitoring it's going to lower the audio for all audio going through this device so just be mindful of that the buttons are very responsive here on the bottom so pressing it you don't have to press it too hard it already turns on when you press it awesome customization buttons here on the right abc you get three of those it is instantly recording your audio as soon as you press it so just know that once you press to record one time it's going to start immediately recording your voice and then you can stop it midway and then you have a recording press it once tap it to play that recording back to you one time it's going to start immediately recording your voice and then you can stop it that quality of these custom buttons is pretty good it is sounding exactly the way it's coming in through this microphone the five fine kind of dipped in a little bit of the audio quality on the recording but hopefully they don't see this video and get to me say hey stop talking bad about us what i do like that they included that loop back feature where you can record your audio coming into your mixer and going back out to your pcs and Tegas and gamers the aesthetics of it is fantastic you get nice rgb here with your function buttons at the bottom so your rgb head there's some here it's not overkill and it's not underkill what does underkill mean what awesome for gamers podcasters that sort of thing so yeah legacy gamers this is the way to go so if you're interested in picking up this device pre-ordering it then check the link in the description if you pre-order it now up until the end of august i believe august 31st they will include a free xlr cable because an xlr cable does not come in box so be sure to take advantage of that if you don't already have an xlr cable and you would like that extra one and it's a pretty decent xlr cable as well it's the one i'm actually using right now and if you're interested in checking out another budget audio interface audio mixer by five fine check out this link right here i am leaving for you at the end of the video because it will take you to another budget option that is a direct competitor with this device all right and with that i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching later